welcome back to the channel YouTube thanks for again for joining me uh, the channel has just surpassed 1800 subscribers I truly appreciate and thank each and every one of you that follow that watch the videos and stick with me I appreciate it it makes it fun to watch it grow it's been exciting to interact with you guys I appreciate all the love and support so if you guys have been following the channel this winter, you know I've been super busy with the Gallardo. Lots of different projects, maintenance, upgrades, big and small. Uh, quickly running out of time and money. Springtime's just around the corner. I have not been able to complete all the projects that I was hoping to this winter. That's okay. I've got nothing but time. Part of my enjoyment with ownership of the car is getting to tinker with it constantly. Anyway, that being said, I do have another project lined up here for the Gallardo, and it's kind of one of the first major aesthetic things I've done to the car. Up to this point, everything has been maintenance and, and repair related to the car, other than the fab speed upgrade and the exhaust system and all that. So uh, anyway, it was just delivered. So I'm gonna go grab that off the porch before the wife gets home. All right, guys, so we're in a little bit of a hurry tonight. Get this thing in the garage. We'll get it unboxed, check it out real quick, show you guys what we got going on. Not that I intend to be super secretive, but I really don't feel like playing 20 questions tonight. So I'll try and get this stashed away before my wife comes home tonight. All right, guys, there's your big reveal. Carbon fiber side skirts for the Gallardo. Ever since I've started looking at these cars, I always love the look of the carbon fiber side skirts there that ride underneath the, the sole there. I think they're just a super cool little upgrade, a nice little fancy touch. And uh, kind of my hope is, and I don't know, maybe some of you guys that are running them can comment and let me know. I'm kind of hoping that maybe there'll be a bit of a sacrificial piece here to catch rock chips or any road debris from getting up on the car and help protect the side of the car a little bit further. I don't know, maybe that's a long shot. So anyway, I committed a cardinal sin. If you guys follow the channel and you know me, you know I hate it, but I supported China. Sorry, crucify me, I get it. But for the price of these things, they're not perfect, but they're in really good condition. The fitment, just hold them up there, whoops. Seems like it's gonna be pretty decent. So I'm happy and uh, for the price, I can replace these for two or three times if they get tore up or I need to for the price of some of the more expensive name brand side skirts running 1500 two grand from some of the prices that I saw. So this is what I'm working with. Uh, we'll go through the install here and see how they look once we can get them on the car. So I was super nervous ordering something like this from China off of eBay. Uh, and they are not perfect. I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. You guys can kind of see. Um, fortunately, the flaws and things like that on these are relatively small. And what is there is literally the mounting surface underneath of the car. So the, the exposed edge here and the portions of this that you will see actually look really nice. I, I'm happy with them. They're super lightweight. I don't see any real flaws anywhere on them other than what I just pointed out there in the camera. And uh, like I said, the more I hold them up there, the, the fitment appears to be right on. I will find out more once I actually try to secure them to the car. Unfortunately, this is a project I don't quite have time to tear into tonight, so I'm gonna get these things stashed away so my wife doesn't start asking too many questions about the money I've been spending lately. Uh, we'll wait for a day where I've got a little bit more time and we'll tackle this. Uh, quite honestly, I don't even know if she will even notice once these things are in the car or not. Maybe we'll put it to test. It is officially install day today, so here is my plan of attack after checking all over the internet and seeing what most other people are doing or a lot of you guys have done. This is going to be my official plan of attack. It may be a little bit overkill, but that's all right. That's what I'm going with. So most people are using the, the double-sided adhesive along the back here, and these things are super lightweight, so that should work out just fine. I've got a ton of that stuff on hand. It comes in all sorts of different widths. I use this stuff for all sorts of different things, and it I've never had problems with it. Uh, providing the prep work you, you, is done well. You put this on a good clean surface. I've never had any issues with it. It's, it's pretty strong stuff. I'll warm it up, tack it up a little bit with a heat gun, and it should do a really good job of adhering these to the bottom of the car. In fact, I have been using the 3M 
double-sided adhesive for years it's what's adhering the mirrors onto the bottom side of the chevelle here above the engine and and these have been exposed to vibration engine heat the heat from the sun on the hood in the summertime and you can see that they've held up well these have been on there for roughly eight years or so now so the 3m double-sided adhesive is good stuff uh that being said i'm not going to rely 110 percent on it solely so a lot of these higher end pieces come pre-drilled. So I am gonna use a little bit of hardware on these, nothing overkill. My plan is to use about three, one in the middle and one on about each end. I've heard of guys using self-tapping screws and, and different stuff. You can utilize whatever hardware you want. Like I said, I am going to tackle it with a little bit overkill, I know. So this piece here that it adheres to is uh, pretty thin. Uh, if you've seen any of my videos where I've had the fender liners out, there's a good void underneath the here and on the sides here kind of get a better view before you actually hit any meat it's it's ho a hollow environment there and this stuff is i don't know maybe a 16th inch thick or so just rough guesstimate and i can't remember if this is plastic or fiberglass so even a self-tapping screw you'd lucky if you're grabbing with a full thread so it like i said it might be overkill with the 3m adhesive it may be just enough to me, it's a little bit cheap and a little bit tacky, so I'm gonna go a slightly different route. It's almost comical in typical China fashion. This, this is the hardware they sent with the pieces. So, yeah, it's almost comical. I get a good laugh out of that. I'll throw those aside for a home project, but those are definitely not going on the Lamborghini. So what I did is I picked up some quarter inch 20 stainless button heads about an inch long and I'm going to pre-drill like I said three holes in each one and I'm going to be installing these riv nuts I got quarter inch 20 riv nuts to go with them if you guys have never used these these are pretty cool and I've got this entire setup I use this for a lot of different projects you can get these riv nuts in all sorts of different sizes you can get the riv nuts in stainless different materials whatever you want to utilize and they come in handy this kit is been a lifesaver for several of my projects. Comes with all sorts of different size dies. You got metric, we've got SAE, and essentially they just thread right onto the end here. You'll take your riv nuts, thread them on there, stick them into the pre-drilled holes, pay attention to what size hole you need to drill to get the riv nuts in there. Extend these, I'll see if we can get it on video under the car when I start doing it. You collapse that in there, and it essentially mashes that down into the hole you've drilled. So you have a solid threaded portion to tap into. Now those of you that have been following the channel for a while know that I hand fabricated the roof when I had the sand rail and custom built that. And this is exactly how I had attached the roof to the sand rail as well. And I didn't have any problem. That was exposed to all sorts of off-roading environments and vibrations and, and things of that nature. So. It held well, and the nice thing was it was quick and easy to pull off if I ever happened to roll the car, crush it, needed to replace it. So I really, really like these things. So at this point, I'm just kind of mocking things up. So I'll show you guys real quick. I don't know how everybody else mounts these or how they're supposed to be mounted, how the Supla Legeras came. I don't really care. I'm just kind of mocking them up how I think look good. Uh, they're the cool carbon fiber. I want to be able to see it. So I might have them sticking out a little bit more than most. I've got them roughly by the painter's tape I've used here roughly an inch off of each corner there and for reference I'm using the half inch 3m adhesive and this is being held on right now with three one inch strips you yeah, one in the middle one on each end that's all that's holding that thing on there I can't say I go out and drive it like this but that's how strong this stuff is so an entire strip of that plus the hardware these are definitely not going anywhere and the more I look at things once it's mocked up I might actually go with a four bolts instead of the three and i will kind of see once i get the adhesive on there and get a little pressure on it kind of playing with it but yeah i might go with four instead of three so what i'm going to do next is crawl under here mark out where i want the holes and i'm going to do quarter inch holes through the carbon transfer that mark we'll transfer obviously right where i want it on the car we'll remove this and then i'll drill the larger three eighths inch hole that i need for the rev nuts and get those installed then we can apply the entire strip of tape and start mounting these things permanently.
At this point, I'm just enlarging the holes so the rib nuts can be inserted into there. A quarter inch made for a nice pilot hole. Now we can see if we can get those rib nuts in there. So the key with this tool, if you've never used one of these, you can adjust tension and whatnot. The key is not to get too overly aggressive. You can snap these things off. I've seen people snap the mandrels off. You just want to give it a slow, consistent, and gentle squeeze. Remember the material we're going into is super soft and you just unthread it. And now we have a solid sable mounting point. So get the other two done, we'll get the tape on and slap this thing on the car. So now we have three nice, solid, clean, professional looking mounting points versus just a random hole or a self-tapping screw right in there. I know a lot of guys get nervous about drilling holes and something like this, as do I, but uh, at least that looks clean. It all right, now that I've prepped my surface really good with some rubbing alcohol, get all the oils and things like that off, then we're just gonna run our adhesive tape all along the edge here. So we get that in place, we can get the, the rib part off, get it all exposed, and get this thing mounted. All right, so I'm just having my little helper help me peel this tape off. Here, go right here, buddy. It's a loose spot right here. Oh boy. Give that one a yank. All right. Let's see if we can get that thing on the car. And just like that, we have carbon side skirts. And these things should not go anywhere. I'm super happy, they came out nice, they look really clean. Quick, easy mounting process. And granted, these are China product, they're not RSC or any of the other FGP or whatever high-end brands. So don't expect you're gonna get the same quality by any means, but for the price, they do the job I needed them to do. And I think they look fantastic. Overall, a quick, smooth, simple install. I'm gonna jump over here to the other side. Since I walked you guys through that one, I'm gonna go ahead and kick this one into high gear.
And there you have it, the finished product. Couldn't be happier. Looks absolutely phenomenal for the price. I believe I am shipping state sales tax, sale price and all, $600 all in to these carbon fiber side skirts. Like I said, they are not perfect, but they were a fraction of the name brand products. And to me, they look absolutely amazing. Inexpensive, upgrade and beautiful touch to accent the car. So let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna get this thing parked, leave it like it was, and I'm gonna put the wife to the test, see if she even notices that I spent more money. All right, got the car all back situated right where I had it this morning. Wife just happened to get home. We're running the house to grab her. Let's see if she can notice what's different. Hey, Ed. Yeah. You come out here for a minute? Oh, I know. I bet she can't figure it out. I know. Can I come out? Yeah, come here for a minute. All right, I know the car has been under the cover for a couple months now. Been a while since you've seen it. Can you tell me what's different? Can you point me in the right direction? Visually. Everything that you've done. Visually, do you see anything different or new with the car? Plug nuts. Yeah, they've been on there a little while. Um, do you see anything else? Maybe this. No, that's always been there. I told her she'd never notice I spent more money. No, he's lucky. Um, Look high and low. This right here. Hey, she got it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? You like him? Yeah, it looks good. It looks nice. I'm sure he's done a lot more without me knowing. That's pretty much it. I just was curious if you would notice or not. I didn't think you would. Took you a little while, but you did figure it out. Only because you told me there's something new. <laughs> Otherwise, you definitely would have never noticed. See, that's how I get away with spending money so easily. Yeah. She is my sugar mama, I won't lie. But notice <laughs> she didn't ask what it cost either. <laughs> yeah, nice, right? All right, that's all. Thank you. Now out of curiosity, I'm gonna test my six-year-old. Let's see who can spot the difference faster, my six-year-old or my wife. I know where I'm placing my money. Little game, so you can spot what's different on the car faster. You or mommy? What's new on the car? What do you notice new? Just go up to him and walk to him, point. Oh, yeah, the lug nuts, there's one more thing. No, that's been there. What else do you notice new? No. Look high and low. Bingo. She was faster than me. <laughs> Good job. Buddy. I think daughter beat mommy. <laughs> Good, Good job, kiddo. As always, thanks for joining me with the Guy Auto YouTube, even as I turn it into a little bit of family fun. If you haven't, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for more.